Hi, I'm John Manners from Topper International. I'm just doing a short video today to show you how we repair plastic boats and that you can do it at home. In order to repair a plastic boat yourself, this is the equipment you will need. A drill with a fine drill bit, standing knife with some sharp blades, sharp chisel, wet and dry paper, a soldering iron and the correct plastic which you should obtain from the manufacturer of the boat. Having cleaned the uh, area that we're repairing, next thing we need to do is chamfer the edges of the uh, crack to ensure we have a nice wide surface area to weld to. Easiest way to do this is either with the soldering iron itself or if you prefer you can use a standing knife to just cut, cut away the edges. I prefer to use the soldering iron which I just drag down at a 45 degree angle to create a channel to weld into. As you're doing this you don't need to press right through the whole material just down, down a fair way. Luckily the topaz hole is nice and thick so you can get, really get a nice deep channel to do it. Also as you're doing this you can push material down through the crack to help start sealing it as well. It may take a few runs up and down just to get a nice channel to weld into. Once you've cut the channel that you're going into the repair area, you can start now feeding in new material. It's important you have the correct plastic for the boat that you're using. If you used a polyethylene on a polypropylene boat, the material won't bond properly, and the same is true vice versa. Once you've uh, got your material, in a short stretch, with your soldering iron, just hold the material in place and then with the soldering iron just gently pressure it down so it melts into the channel you've produced earlier. Don't worry if it's a little bit raised up above at this time because you can smooth it down and we will finish it off later. But at the moment what we're doing is aiming to melt all the edges and the plastic together just to form a nice strong bond. Again it's something not to be rushed, just take your time and you'll feel the plastic become malleable under the soldering iron. And it's just a case of gently pressing it down into place. I've now completely filled the crack with the first rough filling which is above the level of the, uh, the deck. You can now go down it with the soldering iron and smooth it out and start filling in any small voids that you've left behind. This will start to flatten it out in preparation. It's just a case of keep, keep the soldering iron moving, you'll feel the uh, plastic melting underneath soldering iron and you can smooth it down and soften the edges in to the good area of the hole. If you've got an excessive build up somewhere you can then just as it's gently soft and pliable move it round to help fill any small voids you've got and start blending the edges in as well. If you find you need, need a little bit of material, just again put your repair plastic in place and just melt it in as required. Once you've filled the crack and leveled out as much so you've got a, nice, a rough finish, um, now just leave the plastic to cool for a while and then once it's cool you can then start trimming it up using your sharp chisel and standing knife blades. So the, the plastic's now cooled thoroughly, cold to the touch. Now with my chisel I just gently start taking in the top down, clearing away excess material. Just take your time over this. I've now just spent a little bit of time with the chisel just flattening the areas off 
Um, so it's now come back to the level of the hull. A plastic repair will never be an invisible repair like the glass fibre repairs where you can keep flatting them back in. You can spend a bit more time with the soldering iron, maybe just blend the edges in a bit now. What I'm now going to do is use a standing knife blade, just take a scrape over just to really smooth it out and then a bit of time with some sandpaper going through the grey to wet and dry just to get a very smooth finish back. As you're uh, scraping the hull away with a standing knife blade keep all these shavings because if you find any small voids of that you can just with a soldering iron just use them to fill back in again. Having flattened the surface off with the standing knife blade it's just a little bit dull so what you can do is go through polish it up with some wet and dry going through various grades until you get a smooth finish you won't get a perfect shine as per the moulding but you will get a good finish back on the plastic